Hey YouTube, what's crack a lacking again? We have this one. It's a mystery beer and it comes from the Kuitenham Hoeve from Marksken. Marksken give it to me. Like, okay. I thought, awesome. So we're gonna try it. It is. It comes in a can. So I don't know what style it is, from what country it is. I know nothing. So that's, those are the things I got to guess, of course. That's the whole idea around this one. So I got to guess the style, the ABV, the country, and also mm. uh, what brewery. So that's really difficult. The brewery always is very difficult. So we're going to try it. Here is my glass. I rinsed it. Yeah. So I had the beer before, but we're not going to talk about that one, of course. <laughs> you can see my reviews all the time. Every day a new beer. And this time it is a mystery beer, guys. So, okay, I got to be really careful. It is a tick. It is really thick, but it pours like I, I am dripping now. That's not the nicest thing, of course, but I'm going to clean it like you can see. It's dripping from the can. Uh-oh. Mm, I have a little taste. <laughs> Look at the color of the head. It's like brown. It's like really brown. And it's jet black, I think. It is really jet black. The beer is jet black, guys. So I'm going to... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to put the can... So you can, Yeah, you... <laughs> Later I will clean it and then I cut the video of course if I clean the clean the aluminium foil around it because I have some spillings here like you might see also. So okay, awesome color. This one is going to be awesome and I think it's going to be really creamy. Okay, I'm going to get the nose first. Cheers guys. Cheers Mark. Mark Skin from the Kuitenham Hoeve. Really strong, I think. It's gonna be a stout. Not quite sure. Could be barrel aged. But you get your coffee, your chocolate, vanilla, dry fruits, raisin, plumes, gingerbready notes. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna dive in. Cheers. Ready? It is thick. I'm not sure about the barrel age thing. Oh no. If it is barrel age, it's really well covered. But there is some a ABV to it. It's gonna be like 10% or more. But it's so thick, it's so creamy, so full in taste. You get your chocolate really well. So I'm guessing this is a stout, for sure, Imperial Stout. If it's, of course, the Russian Imperial Stout. Okay, I'm gonna go for an Imperial Stout. If it's a Russian Imperial Stout, I still got it right, guys. Remember that, I still got it correct. Because, yeah, Russian, the thing Russian is just because a guy from Russia, a long time ago, he was always wanting these style of beers. That's the story I heard. And you gotta search for it. It's something like that for sure. That's why they call it a Russian Imperial Stout. So an Imperial Stout, the ABV is gonna be really hard. It's not like I'm getting like an alcohol burn at all. But I feel it's like rather boozy. The brewery also is going to be not easy to guess. This one is going to be difficult. I'm still thinking, thinking about the barrel age part. It has that feel to it. It has a taste to it. But the barrels are coming not much true. They, you can get some of it. But I'm just going for it. I'm going to say barrel aged. Not sure what barrels. I'm going again for the bourbon barrels, but not quite sure. I'm just going to say barrel aged. A stout or a pastry stout. Just go with an imperial stout. I'm just going with an imperial stout. Like barrel aged. It's going to be 11.5% ABV. I don't know for sure. I'm just saying something. That's what I feel. Although I think it will be a little bit too high, but... 
I still go for 11.5% ABV, maybe 12 even. The brewery will, fe will be from Belgium, because I know Maxken. I think it is from Belgium. Not again sure, because Maxken also buys for me and for other guys. If you come to Kuitenham Hoeve in Sint Amans in Belgium, do trust me guys, he has beers hidden away what? for people that use untapped. And had a lot of different beers already. He has two fridges, especially for us, hidden away. It's not in in the pub itself, in the bistro itself. It's not there. There are also a lot of fridge, loads of fridges, of course, with beers. But it's behind his private part, and we guys get to take a look there. That's always nice. Can, Mars, can, can I look at the? At your back for your special beers. Yeah, yeah, go on, he says all the time. <laughs> awesome guy. So, I'm go still going to go for Belgium, but it could be any other country. Trust, trust me on that one. He has bought from all different countries. I had some, a lot of beers from Canada now, from him. And that's crazy. Like, you know, I, I haven't... I had some beers from Canada, but... Now I have already uh, like four, five more or something. I've never seen before even guys from Canada and themselves uh, told me on Untapped, where did you find this beer? And they are from Canada. That's crazy, I'm from Belgium and Marskin did find it somewhere because he knows his, uh, there is a huge uh, beer store and he goes there all the time. I haven't been there, but it's tends to be mind-blowing so yeah so, so <laughs> imperial stout barrel aged 11 and a half 12 percent if you leave maybe even 12 and a half i'm gonna go for 12 if it's 12 and a half i'm still at that like if i if i told you it will be correct if you're a half degree like percentage wrong you're still right because it's rather impossible to guess the ABV right because it could be all, all the time like 7.2 11.4 and then it never nobody's going to say like it's 11.4 of course but uh, okay Belgium the brewery I'm, it's always in my mind Galea and it could be Galea craft beers Because they work all the time in these cans. But I don't think it's gonna be that one. Oh my god. Not sure. Sorry, not sure about that. But I'm going for Galia. Galia craft beers. 12% ABV. Imperial Stout. Barrel aged. Not sure about the barrel aged part. Okay, we're gonna. Okay, I. I'm gonna cut a video now and then I will clean it all off from the from this aluminium foil because it's yeah it's nasty out here and I won't look of course so okay I'll be right back guys okay guys so I'm back it's all cleaned like you can see so we're gonna open it I put the glass here because it leaves some nasty stains with the chocolate and you can see my couch is of this special like fa fabric made and if I would put some chocolatey thing like this one it will leave some stains and I don't like that of course this is the thing you can see is from wood that's not a problem I can always clean it but this thing it's really hard to clean okay we're gonna open it really excited what it is I don't think it's Galea Ah, oh, the white pony! The white pony! I have seen them standing there, the white pony beers, because he has a lot of new of them, again, in the house. And this is one of them. It's gonna be huge in I, I, ABV. It's gotta be huge. A higher ABV. 14% ABV. <laughs> These guys are... You know the Galea and your Strasse Brouwers. And the Meester has also some really nice things, barrel aged, 
This thing is maybe not even barrel aged because these are crazy brewers. The White Pony, you can see it here. And I think it's a guy from Italy or something. Not 100% sure, but he brews his beers in Belgium, but is he is from another country. And if you search for it, it will be, most of the time it says another country. Okay, Oak Barrel Aged. Oh yeah. Collection. So, okay, I got it right. Imperial Stout. Ale, Barrel Aged Cognac. It is standing at the bottom, you can see it. So I got the Imperial Stout right, I got the Barrel Aged thing right. Uh, that's awesome, the ABV. It doesn't feel like 14% at all, I gotta tell you. But this is an amazing beer. It's just awesome. Like it's so thick and cream, like I tell you, the molasses, the the dry fruits, all these things, it's the cinnamon, it's like so crazy, lots of chocolate, your coffee beans, it's all in here, awesome brewery, okay, white pony microbrewery, and this one is called Too Late for Roses, nice, Too Late for Roses, this one is called. Awesome. Thanks really very much, Markskin, for getting me this very special. And it was not easy to guess, and certainly not the EBV, because when you see these top, these high rated breweries, uh, a rating, I'm gonna give this, it's amazing. I'm gonna give this eight to eight and a half out of 10. I think it's an awesome stout again, Imperial Stout. These guys can make their awesome beers. I, you know the review I did about the AK-47, AK-47. I've seen he's also got them again. What? Only two bottles. Oh no. I don't know if he will sell them. Maybe he will sell one to me. Okay, I'm gonna round it up. Thanks for watching guys. Thanks again very much, Markskin from the Kettenheim Hoover for this beer. It's awesome, it's amazing. So eight to eight and a half out of 10 for me, and I'm gonna round it up. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget, a beer dick is Dr. Ray. Cheers.